Okay, so getting quite close now to finishing. Um, got the roof on, the main roof and the cab roof and the windscreen. I was quite pleased with that effect because you can see it in the film, Ice Cold and Annex. They, they paint over the windscreens to stop, reduce the amount of sunlight flashing on them, which is a dead giveaway in the desert to enemy spotters. Um, well, they've got those hanging up, so that's going to flash upwards. Um, it's working rather well. I've um, had to fill some tiny gaps uh, with filler. Um, and I've, you may not be able to see the interior. I've loaded the interior. I can, if you just hold it still. There, put the light. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Wow. And I've put some... There's dead people in there. No, there isn't. Oh, there's, okay. There's baggage in there. I've put uh, bedding on the top. Keep your finger out of the way. On the top. That um, looks amazing. Bank. Look, can you have a look? Because you can see through the oh, phone. Yeah. Yeah? Spare, spare helmets and water bottles and yeah. folded up um, stretchers and yep. the door open. So it's all going to look a bit busy. Oh, careful. Oh, damn. Turned it over. Um, and I've got to do a bit of tiny bit more spraying just to um, even out some of the um, other bits and pieces. The lid. And I'll, having done that spraying. Can I look at the engine before you put it on? Oh, you can. Okay. I've got that. Um, this is held together with sellotape just to. Sorry, sticky back plastic. <laughs> um, and I don't really plan to have that open. I've got the side doors, the rear doors to put on. I think I'll just have those open because otherwise it's a bit pointless. Doing the interior. Doing all the, interior. Yeah. the kit instructions suggest that they go like that when they're open, but I don't think they do. I think they just go wide open. and Flat back, So I'll yeah. probably glue them back. They'll be a bit more robust glued way back. Um, there's a couple of jerry cans to go in. That's the figure that came with the kit, and it's clearly um, meant to be uh, Princess Elizabeth. Though more realistically, she'd be posed in trousers, I think. And while I'm still, a, I, some enterprising companies, I've said this before, must surely do a 3D resin print of the cast from the crew. But in the meantime, I've um, been doing figures, and I've I've taken both there. One was this one was wearing a beret, and I think you're not going to wear a beret in the desert in the heat. You might at night when it gets cold. And this one was an officer figure, holding Ben's knockers, I think. But I I thought that pose looks a bit more, I don't know, dramatic. And. If it's something like uh, John Mills in the film, he, you don't see him wear a hat. Um, at the moment they look bald, so I'm going to get my pyrogravure out, which is a, a small um, heated, it's like a small low temperature soldering iron with a, with a, uh, a needle tip. And I can, I can mould some mould some hairlines into those hairs. sorry sorry about the the background noise we've got plumbers working upstairs so it looks like they've got hair the alternative is to send off for some hornet heads hornet are famous for making uh, individual heads of all kinds of expressions and hairstyles and some bald and in helmets and not in helmets and hats and um, but i think i'll manage with that so at least it'll have some crew one of them at least in desert shorts. I think you better stop there because that background noise is quite okay. noisy. That's it for the moment. All right. And hopefully next time you look, it will Be you will finished. see the finished item. Yeah. After I've done just a little bit more subtle weathering, a bit of light dust and sanding. Alright. All right then.